my driver finally got here and I found out that well uh, this is a truck that I'm going to drive to uh, Dindua in the last couple of miles left which is this truck Yep, you never see this before. So this is the Peterbilt 579 and uh, this is the 2021 model. Yeah, this is the 2021 uh, Peterbilt 579 which it got 600 horsepower, 7 tons of weight uh, and 2,200 22,000, no, 2,200 torque, and he's already got uh, 2,000 some miles on his belt. And yep, it's a new truck in the game, and also it's count as a heavy haul, tr heavy duty truck. And it's with the RAP company for like a while now, so it's this is the 84 fourth truck that they got so let's fire this baby up good old Peter Bill do this job oh by the way I put yellows on this side so it'll be looks like magic it's matching nice Of course that I won't be able to see the dash because the dash nozzle or something like that uh, I can't see it too well so I'm going to say blind Yeah I'm really clear that corner So let's continue on to Vancouver. And I'm this truck is kind of a bit of nice trucks that I'm going to do today. I mean nice truck to use, so yeah. I really like this truck. As a heavy duty haul truck, nope, brick just jam on. So I'm going to say, uh, Seattle. Now that we're up, and I'm stuck. Come on, you can do it. And up we go. Overref this shit out of my face. Yeah. Excuse me. Again, I'm still guessing the uh, the amount of RPM I'm putting into this truck that is wrapping up because I really can't see what I'm wrapping up to so I'm just playing a guessing game right 
now. So, jeez. So as I pull this cruise control on, here is the interior. Who is here? Somebody is here. So it's kind of like a automatic truck. The windshield wiper is shit. Crashing, smash the new truck that I don't want to smash up because this is the new truck that uh, the company bought. Got 43 minutes to go, view is fine. I got like a lot of driving hours to go that because I just did a uh, four hours break in the game. Oh my god, this truck gets up and go. I'm in the eighth gear and it's picking up speed like the motherfuckers. So, great to hear that. Not going to wreck your truck, buddy. So up to highway one. Yeah, that's the highway one turn of point, I guess. So yeah, we're up here already. Near Seattle. Shop test, shop test, shop test, shit, 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 shit. Maybe nearly smash into the wall. Where's the original steering wheels? Well, uh, I replaced it, so it's the Seattle Tough Point. Yeah, I replaced the uh, steering wheel because I thought that that wheel is sh shit. So, and I can't see how much turning I did to, to this truck, so. I will press this with this one and it's kind of good. And after a snowy go, this thing is probably coming up soon. And uh, nope. So here we go, up in the snow. So I wish I can head back up to uh, Winnipeg 
that this law is uh, important for the community of Genua. Yeah, it's important uh, for the Genua communities because they need this law up ASAP. So here's the tight turn coming up soon into uh, Vancouver and this is going to be hectic as hell because tight turn with a uh, long trailer don't mix even with triple and double so uh, if I try to take a single trailer I've passed through here and I need to just smash the hell of my single so yeah this is going to be well, this time we give it easy. Same as that one. Okay. That turn, that took another unexpected turn. Here you go. We are in Vancouver and we got a half a tank of fuel and we got uh, 37 minutes to go. Right, uh, six hours, no, yeah, six hours of driving time to go. Yeah, we got plenty of time. So, I'm going to do this as slow as I can. <laughs> so here's the Vancouver area. And on your right is your last gas station uh, to uh, Jandua If you really want to refuel and get some rest, you can do it right there. But if you don't got enough fuel to uh, make it return, then you'll be screwed because there's no repair station, fueling station, sleeping area up in Jandua And I guess. In this game, not I R, not in real life, of course. So there's a police coming up soon, and I hope he doesn't take it me. Yes, I'm going 14 miles per hour. Yep, we are clear. So let's punch it. Hold it in six gears and forty miles hours as I going up this steep hill. Don't know how much how is the speed limit up, up this highway? Possibly forty five ish. I say fifty five. But uh, this trail will be like turns after turns after hill and turns. So 
put the metal to the pedals because you really need it. I'm going way over 55 because I really need the speed across the bridge we go I think we are in Canada because Genua is in uh, Canada and I think Vancouver is also in Canada so I guess I crossed the border somehow Doing just fine. So this PW579 is a new model that PW just got putting his fleet, I mean of push his models. New model I guess. And it's like it's modernized the PW build. Cause you got electric dash less button less clip like the old schools you got GPS on your dash that include so yeah it's kind of a modernized uh, pillar build a bit but it's still got a soul that is a fast truck that can do big things 32 minutes to go and we are coming up short I think almost right there past like half of tank so I think I got uh, one third of a tank I'm just relaxing my drive, easing off, putting the cruise control, and the first time ever, my gas, my fluids felt better because I don't need to press the gas pedal to the metal. But also, Cruise control uh, in this game uh, uh, suck your gas pretty bad. Sunrise, I think. No, uh, sun's down. Sunset's coming up. As beautiful Canada's view of snow. Oh yeah, if you see uh, down your life new videos, that's about the highest temperature that Canada's got, which is I think 49. It's of seat and insane, but in the same time, it's devastated a lot of people in the city of uh, Lytton in Canada. And the whole city got uh, destroyed by the wildfire that the extreme heat put.
put into it and it started to uh, burn the whole city down so go watch uh, Downey's live videos right there and see I thought this is a 55 so um, this is kind of a bit of blacker How about we do some donuts before we get into it? Nope, he's going to catch me. Slow down. Nope, I'm not going to slow down. Looks like I'm busted. Don't care. Well, I wrecked my truck up pretty bad. So yeah, uh, go watch go f watch uh, Downhill Lines videos uh, right down in the description that I will put a link down to a video saying that uh, is you can see uh, Downhill Lines uh, new videos that's about to say uh, the hottest temperature that they got in Canada, Vancouver, but also go and uh, help the uh, societies out that they need support from communities because they really need to rebuild the city they really lost everything in that city so a uh, gloss so god bless to them so we arrived in lit no lit not Luton Genoa this kind of gas city area and I'm not going to back it back it in because there's no way coming out of course and not in a space of course so I'm gonna do this so we did like 2,900 somewhat so like 3,000 miles and we got a uh, friend no 33,000 and five hundred or something dollars and we got out of xp that's that's accounts but yeah that's going to be it so that's the end of the videos i guess so thank you guys for watching this video subscribe if you have not like this video if you enjoy it go watch uh down this live videos uh the links will be down in the description below and support the communities to rebuild the city of Britain that's got caught in the fires like a week no like yeah a, a week ago it's devastated the city of Britain in Canada because the hot temperature that they go is extreme extreme so support them in the community in uh, Canada so after all of that, those work, I will be seeing you guys next time. See ya.